It's 8.44. I went to bed at 5 a.m., if not a little bit later than 5 a.m. because I was up doing my nails, which you are going to go see right now. to be a little bit of a fall transformation and as you saw by the title I am finally doing it I have finally been influenced by all the really hot girls on TikTok dyeing their hair copper I've been thinking about doing this for like a year and last year I was too scared to do it because red is scary and I don't think my hair will be that damaged my hair is actually at a point where it's like extremely healthy I'm on my way to my appointment right now it's like an hour and a half drive but yeah I have to do a little bit of makeup because Whenever I go to a hair salon and I don't have any makeup on, I feel ugly and then I'm scared of the hair. But this is what my hair looks like right now. But my hair is currently like light brown, maybe considered dirty blonde. Not a you're a professional. Oh shit. Where? I'm wrapped at this point, I was fully convinced we were going to have to bleach like most of my hair, but then she informed me that we didn't really need to do that. I did want a few highlights on the top, so that's what she's adding in right now, just to give it a little bit of dimension, and so that part's just like a little bit more red, and when it fades, it'll look a little bit better. And I totally forgot that I didn't bring any pads or anything, and I had a tampon in, and it had already been in for two hours, and your girl has a heavy flow. So my amazing boyfriend brought some in for me. Thank you, sir. Oh then it's processing and then you can see me making cringy TikToks. She pulled the foils out and we rinse and now she's washing my hair. This is absolutely my favorite part of getting my hair done. Usually by this point, I am freaking out inside. No matter where I go, what stylist it is, what color it is, that's just who I am. I just get super anxious and I'm like, oh my God, I'm really doing this. And I literally didn't feel that during any time during this appointment. Oh, I see the bread. I see it. <laughs> and I like it. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe it's because I've been thinking about doing this for a year and I didn't impulsively do it. And then here, it looks like a bloody massacre. She is so brave without going in with gloves. And then we're rinsing. And then you can see here, I'm realizing that my skin is like really, really stained. And I completely forgot that like red hair dye, and even when I get brown, I stain like really, really bad. But honestly, I feel like it's just part of the ride. And then here, I'm just waiting for a hair mask to do its thing. And then, of course, they blow dried and styled it. Oh, I'm in love. <laughs> Am I gonna be like scared? I don't know. Does I it love look it. Good? Yes. Oh my goodness. I have like red hair dye all over my skin. <laughs> so I have to get that off. So ignore that. I love it. Do you like it? Your Are you looks, lying? Your hair looks like Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Wow, okay. That's a good thing, I love Dr. Pepper. Okay. You know, I swear boyfriend's reactions to things are always like somehow connected to food. I look so pale, but in a good way. I feel like it makes my eyes look insane. Like That's, so. I was literally just about to say that. Your eyes are popping. So like my eyes look so green. so disgusting. I when I finished doing my nails last night, like the minute I stood up, I started my period. Full force, full on cramps, because I only get cramps on the first day usually, and they were like really bad. Like I've thrown up for my cramps so many times in my life. My period just like kind of makes me feel disgusting, but I'm super happy because I don't feel super ugly right now, and a lot of times, especially on the first day of my period, I feel like really, really ugly. But I'm happy I don't because that would've been really bad since I just dyed my hair. Also, I'm obsessed. I'm just happy because I did want it to look natural. And I'm just like very surprised how well it suits 
hurts me. I'm gonna do a bunch of teeth stuff. Drinking a coffee and I kind of don't want to stop drinking it. I don't know why I'm drinking this. I shouldn't be drinking this because I need to go to bed after this, but I'm still gonna drink it. And then we're gonna do the oral stuff like last. I'm kind of like overdue to shave my face and I haven't been doing it as much just because it's a little abrasive and I kind of want to find somewhere to do it professionally, like do dermablading. But it's expensive and I'd rather just do it myself. I'm not telling anyone else to do it though because everyone gets so mad when I'm like, you can just do it yourself. The amount of hate I've gotten for my hair care and skincare videos, they're like, go to a professional. Don't listen to these people online. It's like, you don't need to listen to me. But guess what? Most people that go online to look usually don't have the money to drop everything and go to a freaking dermatologist. People on my skincare video are like, just go to a dermatologist if you have these issues. People have mental disorders that make them scared to go. A lot of dermatology stuff isn't like under a lot of people's insurance. I feel like some people don't understand that. But yeah, so I'm gonna shave my own face because we are a DIY girl and we do everything ourselves, but I didn't do my hair because I was too scared. I have my face razor and it's been sitting in rubbing alcohol because I just wanted to make sure it was all disinfected. My favorite face razor, I'm pretty sure I got it from Sephora, but you can buy just like the little refills so you don't need to just buy those disposable ones because I absolutely hate the, you use them once and you're done. I'm gonna go in with some face oil. Totally just scraped off that scab. I'm really trying to get all the red like off of my skin. I don't know if I got like a video of how bad it was, but red is just like one of those colors where it's gonna get on your skin. We visited Tyler's parents after I got my hair done and his mom had like this special stuff to get it off of your skin and I got like most of it off. Literally a lifesaver. This is a sample face mask from Sephora. Microdermabrasion I think is what it's called and it has like niacinamide in it. This is definitely super exfoliating so hopefully I don't over exfoliate my face. You literally leave this on for two minutes and then massage water into it. My skin has been so clogged up. I did like a whole entire video on skin cycling and it is like completely cleared my skin. It's been like one of the first things to completely clear my skin and keep it clear. Pores have been more clogged so I think I need to do a three day cycle instead of a four day and just have one repair day because it's like my skin gets built up on top of blackheads and stuff by the fourth day and I'm like I need to exfoliate on that day again. I hate mouthwash so much. Recovery night mask. It really depends on what my skin looks like tomorrow. I don't know how I feel about that face mask. It was like a little too harsh for my skin. Hopefully it doesn't make me break out because I just got over my week before period breakout. We're going to do like body self-care now. I'm gonna do like the layering method because this is how I like get my scent to last a long time. I have the same scent in lotion and the same exact scent in perfume and it's by way, it's Melrose Place. This is my favorite scent on the face of the planet. So I'm gonna put this like all over my legs and then I'm going to like spray perfume on top of it. I'm gonna do the same thing with my arms. And now I'm gonna take this CeraVe and I'm gonna put this all over my chest. And I like going in with this because it's just like a super gentle, basic moisturizer. It doesn't break me out. Aquaphor. And then on dry patches, dark spots, scars, acne that's healing, I'm gonna put Kikoplast on them. But I had a scar here that's like almost gone now because of this stuff. I don't put this stuff on cystic pimples because it can like trap the oil that's in the pimple and like in your skin in it and almost like make it worse. We're actually gonna do a little like DIY foot mask thing. So this is what I do when my feet get super dry. I prefer fuzzy socks. And I'm gonna take Aquaphor and pretty much rub it on the whole entire bottoms of my feet. It's gonna feel absolutely disgusting and weird. And then I put these on and then I sleep with them on. I'm not going to be doing any heatless curls or anything because I kind of like it more straight. But I do think I'm going to put some rollers in it tomorrow. These are my two essentials for nighttime. I put this in my hair every single night. 
And I only go in with it on my mids and ends. And then I go in with like half a pump, maybe a little less than that with this, but honestly, I already can tell my hair is gonna suck it all up tonight. I'm going to put my long silk cap on. I make sure it's like straight and not twisted up or anything in there. Now I'm gonna go drink tea. Yes, I know I brush my teeth, I don't care. And watch Halloween Town or Hocus Pocus and then go to bed. My hair literally feels so freaking healthy and soft. Okay, I forgot to order an eyebrow pencil and I might be able to get one here by the end of filming this. Put a peel off base coat for all of these nails and my nails keep like popping off yeah i've been putting peel off base coat because it's like tonight i'm gonna have to do another look for a design video and i'm like it's a waste to just have to keep putting them on excuse me when i think of like a makeup in the fall i think of just kind of a blush look not really any bronzer I think I'm gonna go do my hair and put a few rollers in. While I was doing my hair, I got the eyebrow products. I got two because I didn't know which one was going to match. I got both in Auburn and I got Anastasia and Fenty. All right, they are the same exact color. And I like the Anastasia one better, so I'm gonna be going in with that one. My power just went out and turned back on and I wish I was filming because a guy in like another apartment complex was like, we lost power. So I'm gonna actually put my outfit on and I'm gonna film me taking my rollers out for a TikTok. I'm not sure what kind of outfit I wanna go for because I actually just got a bunch of fall clothes for a fall haul that's already up or gonna be up in like a day. But I don't know if I wanna wear like jeans with my Ugg slippers or if I wanna wear a skirt with some loafers. Okay, I think I like I swear, it's the weirdest thing. Whenever I have texture spray in my hair, my hair doesn't hold. It doesn't make any sense because I know it's supposed to make your hair hold better, but one of the girls yesterday sprayed texture spray in my hair and I absolutely hate texture spray, but I always forget to like tell them not to and then I feel bad to like say not to, I don't know why. But my hair's like not holding that well right now, but it's okay, it gets the point across. I don't know if I like the green sweater. I like the leather jacket more. And then I'm just gonna wear these loafers. We'll see if I change or not again because I'm not like feeling the outfit for some reason. We got our nails. I put rings on. New hair. I don't even think I mentioned the eyebrow pencil was literally perfect. My skin from the skincare last night is amazing. A little fall fit. These are my favorite videos to film. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. I hope you're having an amazing day. Don't forget to drink water. Go outside for like 10 minutes if you can. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I don't know if you like the way I put my words together, but I need you to stick with me just like some birds of feathers. My life breaks the scales, hand to hand, dropping corn straight down the well. Wish me well, wish me well. Always talking about the fishing scales, things that's gonna throw my mind off focus. Probably what's gonna